Hello, how we doing? Early worms, early birds, what have you. Happy weekend, everyone. Hello, Shadowing and Riddle. Hello, hello. And JF Poitras, hello. We'll be starting here momentarily, just getting a couple other things situated while I wait for the official time for stream to start. I do like to have like a little lead time. Uh, YouTube seems to want to send out notifications of people streaming once they're live. It's it's kind of weird to know how the al algorithm works, but uh, I do this all the same. Oh, Poitra? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I, I do struggle with this international community. There's a lot of uh, South Americans and Europeans who just have names on their YouTube chats, and I'm just like, well, I'm going to give it a shot. Oh, okay, you're actually, uh, you're pretty close to me. I'm uh, just south of you. I'm in New England. It's been a lovely winter, eh? <laughs> I know that's, I know A isn't, isn't what Quebecois do. Sorry about that, Shadow Wing. We are going to be on the east coast, uh, north, on the northeast coast of Swamp of Sorrows. If you want to get started heading over there now, the northern part of the beach there isn't swarming with murlocs, so it's a little better for fishing.
Okay, here we are, live over in Swamp of Sorrows. If you get out your Swamp of Sorrows map, you'll find me right about here at 9025. I'm gonna do everyone a favor and maybe put the uh, coordinates up somewhere so people don't, don't forget. Hello, Thalaria. I somehow knew you'd be here first. <laughs> I gotta fix, I changed around my UI a little bit. Gotta, gotta make that a little better here. J.F. Poitra asks, isn't there some added boat out in the sea in Turtle Wow and Swamp of Sorrows? I don't know if that's true or not. I mean, I've been playing Turtle Wow so long at this point, I don't even know what is vanilla at times. <clears throat> yes, Thalaria. I, I knew there was a rabid high elf somewhere out there looking for me. I knew it was you the whole time. We'll do a little fishing out here. I did have uh, a little something prepared, something I just wanted to experiment with. I made some, uh, some geo, I guess, I guess geography questions are not really, it's more just trivia, but it's visually based trivia. That's, that's fine, Steer Jarrell. I do try to uh, mix it up as far as where I fish. Sometimes I like to go to low level areas, sometimes I like to go mid or high level areas. Um, I would count this even as, as a mid area almost, but uh, that's fine, you can get us next time. Um, I wouldn't know if it would even be super safe. I mean, the things that are here are like, there's a level 41, level 42 uh, Crocolisk, and over there are level 44 Murlocs. You, you would be safe, like, only here. Um, I think this might be set up as, like, a little RP area. I don't, I don't honestly know, but there's, like, a campfire here. It might be added, it might be new, it might not be, I, I honestly don't know. There is a sunken ship out there, and I know there's, like, a dead turtle over there. But, oh, that's, that's true. I was, uh, Steers of Steel Drills, <laughs> uh, says you'd have to go through Deadwind Pass. Yeah, that is, that is a pretty deadly trip. Um, I would say, yeah, that, that would probably, I mean, if we had someone to summon you here, you could maybe be safe, but, um, you really couldn't leave the bubble of safety. Um, there are, there is a new quest hub out here. It's for Alliance. There wasn't much at all for Alliance. You can see Sorrow, Guard, Keep. That's this here, right here. There's a couple other things I've added to the zone as well. Oh, no, yeah, don't, don't risk it if you're hardcore. Don't even, that's not, that, that's not worth it. There are some like, um, there are some padding. I think there's a padding level 62 elite out in the swamps as well. So, so you really want to be careful. Oh yeah, Swamp of Sorrows is great. I feel like it, it's lost something since uh, Blacktooth Grin moved out, but I still like Swamp of Sorrows. So, how, how is everyone doing? 
Is everyone excited for the weekend? Hopefully you all had a good week. I had a I had a pretty good week myself. I worked on some new projects. I was that this week or last week? I think it was this week. I I recorded the audio for Under the Shell, which is going to be a it, it'll be essentially a Turtle Wow radio production, but it's going to feature myself Dan from the radio and, and, and Akalix, we are going to talk about all things Turtle, it seems. Fortunately, because it is a Turtle Wow radio production, we'll probably have some access to developers. We might be able to get some of their, uh, in the future anyway, we might be able to get point their points of view. I, I'm looking forward to it, and I think Dan wants to keep it to like an hour, an episode. Because everyone knows that if you if you leave me alone long enough, I, I will just keep talking. So, <clears throat> hello, Lax Elf. Good to see you. Um. <clears throat> Did I see the post for the next patch? There's a chance I didn't. I've actually been on Turtle Wild a good amount this week, but I wasn't I wasn't checking the uh uh let's see, what do they have? Um Thalaria, what are you talking about? Did you see the new post for the next patch? Uh let me check the uh the forums announcements I uh, don't see any new stuff I'll check the roadmap just in case they change something uh, it doesn't look like they changed anything so you'll have to be more specific and usually if there's any big announcement <laughs> I, I have the the good fortune of having Akalix bother me about it. <clears throat> there, uh, I would say there has been uh, some excitement, uh, at least on on my end, for. Uh, class council stuff. Of course, the normal discourse of I can't talk about specific things are spoken about in there, but I can at least tell you that there's been a lot of activity. I think the the slow turning head of the turtle team is finally getting ready to really buckle down and start doing stuff with classes. So. The class council is going to have to, you know, start doing their job. Because <laughs> up until now, it's been a lot of waxing poetic. It's been a lot of figuring out between the other class counselors what we think about the class, what we think are the strong weak points, thinking of creative solutions to problems. And that's just been mostly led by class counselors. Most of the team input has been advisory or sort of saying like no that's something like we just we just can't do etc I do expect the class council discourse to be to become <clears throat> a lot more active soon and turtles are slow and that's okay it's okay to be slow yeah, as like tortoises, I think are some of the most long-lived creatures in the world. Yeah, you take your time. There's no rush. Hello, me. Mm, I could try to say that name. Mew, you know. My winnow. 
My winnow. I'll say my winnow. I like that. Hello, Lizzie Babs. I wonder if I changed some stuff. So, I wonder if that works. I, I changed something with... Uh, I think it's called Cloud Bot. I, I don't know. It's the default thing for Streamlabs. I have a I have a chat link, or I should have some kind of a link thing that works nowadays. Anyway, I used to have a way to tip through PayPal, but uh, I had some problems with receiving tips, like not like ethically. Like it, it was fine. I wasn't worried about that, but when people gave money from overseas, it like. PayPal and my bank like were just not happy so it just blocked them all and some of the very early tips were very generous and I'm like and there, there was a lot of money that just got sent back which is fine like at least it got sent back to them but it was uh because of some problem with with banking and international finance Hello, Tawny. Good to see you. You're you're hype. How can you be more hyped for Nax? You've probably done Nax almost as much as anyone else on the server. I'm glad you're still hyped about it. It is easy to get burnt out on Nax. I will say that, um, especially with recent prices of of consumables just being so out of pocket. Um, what's required to farm that all up or, you know, work together with teams. Uh, I don't know if anyone caught it, but this, uh, sometime this week I did a, a little, a little like experiment to see how much gold could be generated just from just doing a dungeon. Um, and it wasn't, it wasn't terrible gold per hour. Um, it wasn't like as good as lashers but uh, that was a good good time shout out to those people who helped me that that was fun we didn't get any crazy drops so it it ended up being a pretty a pretty good snapshot we did like uh scolo uh strat live and then strat dead oh jf congrats congrats getting nil steer is a big deal Hello, Tiladon, Soulcore. Oh, and uh, if anyone is looking, uh, we are fishing at 90.25. Those are the coordinates over in Swamp of Sorrows. I know Swamp of Sorrows is, can be hard-ish for some people to get to. If you're low level, like I just, if you don't think you can walk through Swamp of Sorrows safely, just don't, just don't do it. It's not a good time. Um, uh, Stedrell, uh, was saying, uh, that they're hardcore and I'm like, no, don't. And, and they're not high enough level either way. So, um, so far it looks like all I've been getting so far here fishing is, uh, firefin snappers. So I'll just swap that around, uh, firefin snapper, raw spotted yellowtail and rock scale so nothing too crazy here but it's not always about the fish you know yeah i you know i never know where i'm gonna fish until like the day before and i try to think of fishing in spots i haven't been to and this is certainly one i have not done a fishing chat at i think i've done Telebim a few times. I've done Brill twice. I've done Elwyn Force a couple times. I've done enough of a variation that Thalaria, who's fishing right next to me, was able to level all the way from 1 to 300 just from doing the Fish and Chat streams. <laughs> uh, you know, Riddle, you're right. Uh, for the 
the artisan fishing quest, you do have to go here to fish for... Uh, Nat Pagel asks you to fish for something off of this coast. But outside of that, I don't think I really see anyone fishing here. There are definitely... Uh, and I know for a fact that uh, the... The little lake here that has the... The sunken temple in it has like a fishing dock on it, which I always feel like is a shame that like areas that feel like they should have, you know, good fishing in them don't. And the places that have the best fishing sometimes do. Oh, geez. So, uh, Tawny is saying, uh, so I, I want to point out that that, uh, this, this last week's news was short. There wasn't a lot of news and pretty much I, I almost considered not even doing the news just because there weren't any crazy market trends that weren't already established. The change log was short, but between Nordinar's Blackrock clan doing that cool thunder and kiting thing and then getting uh, screwed over by zone boundaries and uh, Vita starting to put together like a speed run leaderboard between those two things I was like ah, I could probably make like a short news episode you know so uh, I fortunately those those uh both BlackRock Clan and Vita, like, you know, I had plenty of time to talk about their their stuff, you know, and I, I was happy to. Um, BlackRock Clan is is a fun group of people from what I've been able to tell. I'm pretty sure they're EU based on the messages I've gotten from some of their people that seem vaguely English at times, <laughs> which is fine. Like, it's part of being in an international community, but they like, they like, you know, they're called the Black Rock Clan. And so part of their shtick is that like, they're pretending like they're they're the Black Rock Clan and they and they want to beat up Nefarian for, you know, doing what he's done to Rend. I don't even know their relationship with Rend, but um, I think they like being bad guys. And I like having bad guys around on an RP server, you know, it's fun. Uh, and yeah, L Lizzie Babs, you said it, I agree. Um, Vita has put a lot of work into that leaderboard, and as someone who um, previously has done verification for speedruns, it, it is a pretty tedious process. So, the work that goes into that, like I, I applaud Vita for that. So, um, any any kind of community effort like that alone will always get a shout out for me. I, I love when members of the community do something to make the server a better place. Something like that's great. It you know will increase rivalry and. You know, it'll it'll have like a hopefully a, a fun effect, and it's it's also fun to see because I mean like, heck, like I've been raiding here since uh, mid twenty twenty two, I think, and I I didn't even know where Blackwing Guard was. I know we had like a couple good next speed runs, and when I say speed runs, I mean like things just went smoothly. <laughs> We don't necessarily speedrun. I think there's other groups like Tab C that do. So um, it was cool to see us like in you know like in the top ten. But I think a lot of that's because we've been around for so long, so we just have like a, a plethora of logs. Um. But anyway, getting back to what Tawny said. Sorry. Imagine that Vrogreg went on a diversion. Uh, Tawny says uh, the speedrun report that I made, uh, made Tab C try very hard in Nax. They go super hard on organizing right now. Um, I don't raid with them anymore, but maybe there will be a push for a sub 140 Nax. That's, that's interesting. I don't think any guild speed runs some weeks just end better than the average. Yeah, I, I, I definitely think Tab C and maybe there might be some other girls like I'm just not as aware of tab c is just like a very has a, is like a long legacy name but uh tab c definitely tries i know there's um 
Uh, what is... I can't recall. They've been around just as long, too. Why can't I remember them? The, the one that Docker runs with? Is that... Is that macro? Well, someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but... <clears throat> there are other guilds that are trying to keep it. Oh, Doom Turtles. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Doom Turtles. They definitely... They try. They've been around for a long time as well. I think they're like an old splinter group from Tabsy as well. <laughs> um, but I, I'm pretty sure Docker runs with. Uh, hmm, I think it's, I think it's Doom Turtles. It could be a Macro. The the only, the only thing I I I hope for is that there are. I, I would like to get some engagement with some of the uh, Chinese raiding uh, guilds. There might be some speedrun guilds out there. Um, we just we just don't talk to each other a lot, and part of that's time zone, part of that's language barrier. But um, I, uh, if anyone is bilingual or anyone knows uh, is bilingual with uh, Chinese and English, it would be interesting to make them to be aware of it. Yeah, exactly. We're we're not yeah. I I think I think competition's just a good thing. And also um at times uh I think it actually benefits the raiding scene overall when we can have, uh, like, w when the Chinese uh, raiders can talk to the English-speaking raiders, it generally ends up being a good thing because there's strategies that both sides don't use that either side haven't considered yet, and sometimes that can make for even better strategies. So I think I think in the long run, it would actually help the, the raiding scene altogether. Let's see who we got here. So we have Work Work from the... Oh, Work Work from the Blackrock Clan. Hello. Good to see you, friend. Now, of course, solari has been here since since minute one. Stunny. Hello, Stunny. Lovely sword transmog. Love to see that. We have uh, Durgan. Hello. Ooh, Lore Keeper. That's quite a flex, sir. That's, that's a lot of quests you've done there. Uh, Corin Hoof from Get Rich or Die Grinding. Hello. Who else we got here? Uh, Tigor from uh, TY. I think that's a Chinese guild. Hello. Hello, friend. I, I'm pretty much assuming if anyone's fishing here, it's because of the stream, because I don't think anyone fishes here normally. And uh, Guest Priest from Thunderhorn Clan. Hello. Good to see everyone. Uh, I know... Oh, sorry. Lil Karen is here technically as well. I'm not saying that to diminish, but... Uh, this is little Karen's preferred T-Mog, which is, um, like, bite-sized gnome with no clothing. <laughs> Let me know if anyone catches anything odd. Pretty much all I've been able to catch so far is Firefin, raw, uh, Rock Scale, and Yellowtail. I'll check my log here. I don't think anything else. Firefin's not bad. There is some value on Firefin for um, things like fire oil. Uh, I believe mages need that as part of... Let me check here. I think it's fi the fire elixir. Greater firepower. It's somewhere around here. I should really get one of those add-ons that helps me sort my... Sort out all my stuff here. Uh, da -da -da. I do have all the flasks. Look at that. I've been around a long time. There it is. Elixir Greater Firefire. It needs three fire oil, so um, mages like having it. Uh, some, uh, you know, I actually do use it on and off on my Elemental Shaman. Uh, the primary damage you do as an Elemental Shaman is nature, but the secondary damage you do through your fire totems is fire. And uh, consumables do buff your totems, so... Oh, Channel Lurker, that's fine. You know I'm a Warhammer 40k fan. Battlefleet Gothic's great. <clears throat> oh, 
hope you're enjoying that game. Let's see. Uh... <laughs> yeah, you know, Durgan, if if you want, I can uh, I can make you up whatever I catch here, and because I have plenty of fire oil laying around, because uh, I don't burn through it like fire mages do on my on my main on a bomb swing. So I was thinking uh, we'll fish for a little bit as we always do, or we could go on a little walkabout. I also have some, let me see, where is it? Oh yeah, okay. I do have, I have some trivia today too. I thought trivia would be a fun little thing to do. So I made up a bunch of, uh, made a bunch of slides for trivia. <laughs> Trust me, it'll be awesome. I don't know, I don't know how I want to do trivia. Like if I want, um, because what I tried to do is make the questions hard enough that you can't just, you know, easy mode, just Google it. But people could still do that. Look at that. JF with the info saying, uh, so JF is also stunny and says that island in front of you... And a little to the left is new to Turtle Wow, I think. There's a wreck on the other side too. Oh yeah. Well when we finish up uh when we finish up here, we'll get on our swimming gear and go check it out. I like to catch up, see what's going on with everyone. <laughs> oh, oh oh thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I'll put, uh, I'll put this out. If anyone wants to, uh, oh geez. I've been having this, this issue with my client where when I go from land to water, it will zoom the camera in sometimes. I have to be careful. I don't know why it does that. I'm just going to put a fishing boat out here, guys. No worries. That way I can watch you a little better. I see uh, Durgan says, I have absolutely no idea how to play this game. If I knew that uh, potion existed, I'd never have taken Taylor Enchant. Eh, it's, it's okay. There's There definitely is like what you could call meta picks, right? For all of your gearing purposes, right? But tailoring has something that no other class has, which is you have the best fashion options. And you can make all those shirts for yourself. You can even make shirts and sell them. There are some good items you can craft if you know where to look for the recipes. I know the robe of sacrifice is kind of a big deal for casters. That's something only tailors can make. Let me see if I can show you what that one's all about. Uh, there it is. Robe of sacrifice. So this bad boy is going for 550 gold. However, it has 22 stamina, 40 spell damage. It gives you 1% hit and you can use it to do a life tap like effect. Um, I think it has a cooldown, but it helps you restore mana at the cost of life. Um, so that's nice, especially for uh, certain caster classes that go oom um quite a bit. It's great. Uh, that's that's true. Stunny also points out Glove of Spell Mastery. I actually, I've used those before on my Elemental Shaman uh, because they just have two crit. And uh, critten's everything to an Elemental Shaman because it helps you with mana sustain. It doesn't help you for threat, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> uh, Steph not uh, Christian asked, any insider info on tier set alternatives? Uh, the latest official info that I have is that the alternative tier sets are going to be coming out with 1.17.2, which is not the next patch, but it'll be the patch after it. Um, 
as far as insider info, I don't know. I don't think the team has officially said when they want the class changes to come out, like which patch, but I think it's going to be either concurrent or the alternatives might even come out before, but I don't, I don't actually know the full timeline yet. And I think maybe to a certain extent, the team is working on that. So it would make sense for the class changes and the alternative tier sets to show up at the same time. So they would have the best impact. That being said, there are some classes that will sort of be left out because uh, when the alternative tier sets was first announced, and I think as far, I haven't heard anything differently, uh, hunters and rogues will not be getting alternative tier sets, which uh, is sort of a bummer if you are a uh, someone who wants to make melee hunter a thing or you're like me and also silly and want to make rogue tanking a thing. Uh, <laughs> so, so that's out there. Uh, that being said, if, if you want to do rogue tanking, most of the gear you want kind of exists. There just isn't really a tier set bonus that helps it. So, uh, but yeah. Atani, I appreciate you gaslighting my chat with random dates you're throwing out. <laughs> and Steph not, thank you. I'm glad I'm helping to educate people. Once you hear something, the first thing you should say, if you if you don't believe it, if you have a reason to be incredulous, you should always ask, okay, what's your source? That That's like 101 for a journalist. That's what you should always do. And you can see, Tawny says, voices told me. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, yes, uh, Kal Kalian says, let's go Arcane Mage. I do know that uh, there has been a lot of members of the community that wants Arcane Mage to be anything ra other than what it is currently. For those that don't know, Arcane Mage did receive some changes in the first class change uh, that happened like a year or so ago. Uh, and it didn't change too much about arcane mages it attempted to give them a group-wide buff that would increase the mana per five of members of the group with them however its implementation left it being rather lackluster so i don't think many people who want the arcane spec to do more or either have either have better utility or be a more legitimate uh dps spec however you look at that uh i don't think either either party were happy in that respect because uh as things are right now arcane remains pretty much a part of the mage talent tree that you grab for things you want for everything else if you if you need something but you're doing arcane frost you grab what you need if you're doing arcane fire you grab what you need but you're never really using arcane missiles which is like one of two arcane damage spells the other one's arcane explosion uh however there is a super niche use for arcane in uh emerald sanctum if anyone's done emerald sanctum you'll know that uh when you do the boss you will be sundered with many a casting time debuffs however channeled spells do not care about cast time they just get channeled so the best dps spec for mages in emerald sanctum is actually arcane uh, outside of that it's it's pretty niche it's it's not great and um so i think there's definitely some more things they can do there and i know um i I, the only reason I talk about Mage 2 is that I have a level 60 Mage and I've rated on Mages in previous versions of of WoW. So I, I know a decent amount about them. And uh, a bit like Shamans and their Wind Fury Totem being so strong, Ignite is so strong, it is a, it is a centralizing meta that because Ignite is so strong, it's hard to, uh, for one, design around it, 
but it's also difficult to you don't you don't want to nerf it right because then that just it just seems like you're ruining the best potential the class has but you also don't like if you do much with it like it'll be tough for mages right so i think they did they, they did a they had some kind of a bug fix with ignite uh, last week or the week before something about when ignite ticks um it was pretty technical like if you're a parsing mage and you care about that stuff you probably cared about it but if you didn't you probably didn't notice uh, let's see terrible puddle says arcane was meant to be a pvp spec in vanilla they didn't think it would be frost which was supposed to be raid spec interesting um well the original designers probably didn't imagine that slowing effects are such a centralizing force in pvp because and i say this as someone who doesn't even pvp that much even i'm aware of how busted like improved blizzard is in battlegrounds that is the strongest slow effect in the game and you do that and you completely deny someone's ability to close and with shatter combos it's kind of nuts i i don't know how they could possibly make make arcane into a pvp spec uh, that is true uh jf brings up that slow was an arcane spell in tbc slow slow is an interesting i i always was a little curious why it didn't exist in the game be uh, at least in vanilla, right? Because there are definitely other casters that use it. There's probably good reason why. Because I think the actual slow effect, it doesn't just slow your movement. It also slows like attack and casting speed. Which can kind of be like a one button you win. And it can be a way like you can just shut down healers with it. Um, I'm sure there's more reason for it, but... Um, I wouldn't want to speak on too much authority about why slow isn't in the game. The only reason I would personally want it in the game is just because it fits, it fits like lore wise. Um, I, uh, <laughs> I can tell you of the fun discussions I had when, uh, cause many times what I like to do in class council is, is sort of point to the more casual element of the classes i like to point to the lore implications i like to point to like how things fit class fantasy because um i'm not i'm not as knowledgeable as many of the people in there so i try to bring stuff to the front to talk about hey like uh like um w one thing that i have been a champion of and i and i can say that i've brought it up i can't say how the conversation went but i can say that uh, uh i have wanted for a long time for shamans to have some kind of a crowd control on elementals and i say that because it it really fits the the class fantasy and it fits with the uh sort of showing that shamans have the domain of elementals now i think also how you would flavor a spell like that would be different and I'm not even against warlocks having the ability to also CC elementals. But, like, that's something that doesn't have, like, huge meta implications. But it's something that, like, I would push for because I'm like... Like, the thing about shamans is, like, they're all about elementals and they don't have any way to... Uh, currently, they do have uh, Soothe Elemental, which is, like, Soothe Humanoid or Soothe Animal for Druid and Priest. It just lowers their aggro range. So we did get that in class change one. But uh, I always thought it was weird that like... Um, when you're... like, I'm trying to think of utility for CC on elementals. If you're doing like Molten Core. You know, a place where the elementals are upset. <laughs> and might be corrupted. And you're doing some trash and... It, it feels weird as a shaman to not be the one in charge or even that can help control elementals. Even though that's like literally your class lore. So 
Uh, so like, for instance, like that's the kind of stuff that like I, I am always a proponent of. So coming back around to a funny discussion I had was, uh, I think I nearly made a couple of the other class channels implode. Cause I'm like, how come priest doesn't have sleep? <laughs> and, um, I don't think I need to say how that conversation went, but I think if anyone thought, like actually thinks about how devastating it would be if probably one of the sh strongest, if not the strongest PVP class got, got sleep in addition to what they already have, how that would go. You can imagine, I, I was chased out of there. <laughs> they're like, they're like, shut up now. No, they're, 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 they're absolutely fine. But th those are the kind of dumb ideas that I bring. <laughs> see, look, I, I, I look over to chat. I see, I see Kaylee and going priest with sleep. In my defense, there are other priests and priest NPCs in game that have sleep. I, I thought someone should have sleep. Uh, I think, uh, druids have hibernate, but that only works on animals. In my mind, I was like, like a mage should have it, or maybe a, uh, maybe priest should have it, just because, like, that's the lore they have, and that's sort of how they kind of view magic, but I was, I was properly shot down. Bill Burr impression when? <laughs> Uh, I'm from New England, but I'm not, I'm not from that New England. A fun fact about linguistics, dialects and accents on one language will develop over time. So the highest concentrations of different accents exists in the areas of America that have been settled uh, the longest. So, New England has a number of different accents. Like, um, there's like Bostonian accents, there's like accents for Rhode Island, Maine, uh, Northern New Hampshire and Vermont. Like, they all have slightly different accents. And then the further out west you go, the more homogenized accents are because of how much more recently they were settled. But um, the only thing I have in common with Bill Burr is a New England origin story, and I can talk to myself. Those are those are the things I have in common. I, I really like Bill Burr. I think he's a great comedian. I love I love the way he uh, chooses to look at the world. I I think if there's one thing I do share with him too, is that there's there's like an angry man inside of me, always. But I cannot be as witty as he am, uh, as he am, woof, woof, as he is, dang. All right, let me see what I missed from chat. Uh, hello, Kiandros. By the way, did anyone see if my, I don't think my, my tip command worked. Dang it, I th it was supposed to work. Is it, it's tip? I thought it was tip, is it tips? I guess, I guess Cloudbot is asleep? I don't know. Maybe, uh, hold on, let me check something. As Vrograg goes and breaks everything. Uh, so there's Cloudbot. Um, and then commands. It looks like it's enabled. Um, YouTube Studio. Oh, maybe I didn't add it as a, I think I had it as a moderator. Uh, settings. And then community. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's why. Hold on, hold on, I, I can fix this. I have to add in adding Streamlabs. A, Welcome to the stream. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Sorry about that. 
And they don't tell me how to do it. Oh no, Streamlabs is in there. Okay. All right, I don't know why the command's not working. I at least thought I'd give it a look. I was just excited because I, I got my tip thing working again. <laughs> JF, what did you do? What did you type? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Does, does, uh, does uptime work? Because I know that one's always been there. Maybe, maybe, wow, that's, that's something else. I, I guess it just, I don't even see it in here as a participant. Yeah. I, I don't know why. I wish I could tell you why it's not working, but, um... Streamlabs is definitely a moderator. Oh, wait a minute. Is this really just... Oh, it's a toggle. Streamlabs, you're so dumb. Okay, hold on. Let's try this again. Let's try... Uptime? Maybe. I think I turned it off at some point. Oh, yay! Hey, the stream has been live for offline. I mean, that looks good. I mean, that seems legit. Does tip work? Come on. There it is. See, look. Yeah, it works. Now, I have no idea if the automated message is going to work. We'll see. So, I, so before I started stream today, I was working on getting PayPal and my bank to work nice. I've been meaning to get around to it. But uh, I do know, and I completely understand some people, someone reached out to me and said like they they wanted to donate but they don't want to dox their own youtube account which fair enough fair enough i in the world in the world of private server wow i feel you on that and uh so i i made it i made it a goal this week to try to get my uh my tip link working because you can just do that through paypal and you can anonymize it so like, I, I won't know. And uh, I think it goes through Streamlabs. So only Streamlabs knows. Like they charge a commission, of course, because everyone wants to make money. But um, anyway, I thought that's more helpful for people who want to remain anonymous. Except for Keandros, who's like, just, just likes throwing super chats at me. Thank you. Yes, thank you, tech support and chat. Thank you. That's what this really is. We're not really fishing. Oh, Durgan, good luck at your RP event. Have fun. Durgan seems like a really cool dude. He he was like, I don't really know how to play the game. And homie has lore keeper. I, I mean, I feel like, do you know how many quests you have to do to get lore keeper? It's a good... I don't... There's two quest achievements, right? There's Lore Keeper and there's something else. There's Lore Keeper and... They added a new one. Which is under some controversy. Of course Brigorn's here. Brigorn's, Brigorn's the beast. Uh, Brigorn and Thalaria have been like uh, stream regulars for a while now. Thank you, Lizzie Bab says. Uh, Seeker of Knowledge. Uh, so I think there's some controversy about that one because... Uh, with the Seeker Knowledge, I don't think there's a single Horde player who's been able to get it yet. It might be. I don't know if it is, but it might be impossible for Horde to get. Or if that's not true, then it might just be easier for Alliance to get. As I think there's more custom quests added to Alliance side. But that's something that like to now mind you i haven't been able to verify this personally uh my my in real life friend who plays filth star uh he loves doing quests kind of like that guy here durgan does and uh he was saying i think he's like like he's sitting at 2600 and he's like i don't think i can do it and he was like tabulating up I think for him to actually be able to hit 2800, he would need to 
drop professions and do profession quests and even then like after counting it up he would still fall short and he doesn't want to drop professions just just to get that now back in the day when race change was on the table it was a lot more doable um because you could do faction specific quests on either side and you would just get closer you know Huh, Lex Elves, that's a good idea. I will pass it along to the powers that be. That's a really good idea. Uh, Lex Elf says, they should make a title for reading all the books in the game. The Well Read. Um, you can't really see achievements. You can just show them off with titles. So, like, I have Thunder Fury, so I don't normally show my own title, but now it would say Vrograg Stormwielder. Or I can do Vrograg Immortal. But I default to not showing my own name tag because I, I will record things with Vrograg a lot. I've heard rumors that they might add an achievement thing at some point, which is which is fine. I think for veterans of the server, it's fun to go for achievements because it allows you to interact with the server in different ways. Oh, like, uh, Brigorn doesn't have any titles. But you can get little titles from doing, uh, like, Stunny here has done some amount of Battlegrounds and uh, First Sergeant. I think, and I and someone could correct me if you're wrong, but I'm, I'm pretty sure there is something you can buy from a PvP vendor to hide your PvP rank if you don't like it. Because generally you get, yeah, it's a toggle, right? No, no, you can toggle it, Stunny. There, there's something you can... Can one of the veterans tell... I, I don't do enough PvP to care about this, but uh, I know there's a way... There's like a vendor or something you can buy from to just have it be hidden. Does... Uh, yeah, see, little Karen knows about it. This yeah, see, is what I call dedication. Thank you, Thalaria. I appreciate that. Let me see if I can read what that message says. Oh, great. Now another problem. I can't read these messages. It didn't show on here. Hold on. I think I can go and look what my messages said. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Uh, donation history. There it is. I have that up. So Thalaria says, Dear Master Fish Larry, thank you for all your efforts. May I request Cat Camp? Yeah, you can request it. Um, he's not. You know what? Give me a sec. I'm going to put some food near his bed, and I think that will get him over here. Sorry about that. Um, oh boy, I have no idea where this cam's gonna point. Ah, ah. Get a little bit of cat cam action right there. Right, which way do I twist this? Do, 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 do. There he is. There's the fur bod. Mr. Mandalore makes an appearance. I don't think he wants to be in that bed right now. But uh, you guys can thank Thalaria for a little cat cam action. Oh, yeah. Thalamir and uh, Mandalore. My cat. Oh, jeez. Which one's my bobber? Oh, that one. <laughs> hey, buddy. How you doing? Oh, yeah. Just, yep. There you go. Yeah, he, he thinks he's going to get more food now. Look what you've done to me, Thalaria. I don't know if you can see his cute little his cute little bow tie collar. Oh, now he's now he's meowing. <laughs> uh yes, uh Bernardo. 
Uh, we are in Swamp of Sorrows. If you're curious, we are fishing over near uh, 9025, right on this side of uh, Swamp of Sorrows. <laughs> oh, wait, you guys think he's going to take the bed? Do you think he's going to do it? He might. He might. Will he take the bait? No, look at him. He's like, nah, nah, I'm good. Let me, uh. Oh, I still have this up. Why do I have that up? Uh, let's see. Okay, there's that. No, he's gone. You, you really can't make cats do what you want, sadly. Uh, but no, thank you again, Thalaria, for the uh, the tip. And also uh, passively helping me find out if the uh, alert works, which it does. And now I see Streamlabs posting stuff every now and then. That's great. Hello, mon nom est a person. Happy to see friends from Telebim. I hope... All is well over in Banana Land. Uh. <laughs> yep. Uh, we'll probably uh, we'll probably fish for another five or ten, and then uh, I, uh, on the advice of Stunny, we'll uh, maybe go check out the area behind here. I heard there's a uh, a, a sunken ship over there. If you guys hear extra noise, Mirag just got home. She she uh, went out to the grocery store. Uh, there's some kind of a, a soup festival my family puts on every year. Or a bunch of our friends and family come with their best soups. And uh, we, all, we all judge each other's soups. And then the winner gets a cool spoon and bragging rights for the year. I think last year we had like 60-ish people. It's not a big family as much as we're very friendly. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, Bernardo. I'll, I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you. Don't worry. Actually, you know what? This might be a good opportunity. Um, Lax Elf says there is a hidden cave. Uh, well, there is a sewer system underneath Alcaz. I know that because I did the, it's part of the 0.5 quest. And yes, Kaylee, and it is, it is a lot of soup. The secret is I don't even like soup. I don't. I, I'm not saying there aren't good soups, there definitely are, but my formative years as a child, being impetuous and really hard to restrain when I was told soup is food, I would try to eat it as quickly as possible, and I would just keep burning myself. So it, it made this inner enmity I had with soup. I'm slowly getting rehabilitated, though, because I'm starting to eat chilies, which is kind of like a soup. <laughs> um, let me try something here. Um, let's, do, let's do a quick round. Let's do a quick round of trivia. Because <clears throat> I, I made I made a bunch of assets for this. Um, I'll uh, I'll get myself over here. So if you want to answer this in say chat, or if you're not in say chat, you want to, oh geez, hello, get out of the get out of the ground, camera. All right, no, nope, it's doing it again. Okay. Um, if you want to answer in say chat, or if you want to answer through uh, stream chat. You can go ahead and do that. <clears throat> I will uh, try to keep track. Y'all can keep track for yourself, though, if you got something right or wrong. This isn't a... There won't be a strict time limit. But let me see if I can bring up <clears throat> the first... Uh, which one is it? Is it this one or this one? Hold on, let me check. Go to studio mode. Is it this one? No, it's not that one. This one? No. This one? Ah, it's that one. Okay. All right. <clears throat> I'll go back. All right. So, 
Um, I'm going to do a series of three questions. Each, uh, oh, I should probably move this. Unlock that, so move this here. Okay, so each uh, round will have a theme or like a, an area where all these questions are coming from. The first area I'm going to be asking about is uh, um, for, for Alice. That's how I pronounce it. So here is, let's make my screen a little bigger here. All right, here's the first question. Who can name this Knoll tribe found in Feralis? I am looking at say chat and I am looking at stream chat. No cheating. I'm not, I'm not enforcing anything. There's nothing on the line except for bragging rights. Does anyone know the name of this Knoll tribe found in Feralis? Uh, Vazia says farm them for gold tribe. Not correct. No clue. Splinter pot. That is not correct. I see Athiliana with the correct answer. Designer Dave, it's not Joe Mamas. Uh, Darian, not Moss Hyde. Yeah. Congratulations. Uh, Athiliana was the first one to get the question right. Let me just go to the next slide to show. Athiliana said Woodpaw. Kratz Athiliana. Athiliana, you get, you get one fish point. <laughs> okay. Second question from Feralis. What is the name of the island that is depicted in this picture. I need the name of the island. Um, Vazia? Sorry, no, actually, Thalaria is the first one with the answer. Uh, Vazia, I, I know you were on the right track. So everyone knows this is where Feathermoon Stronghold is. But that is actually not the name of the island. I know, Vazia, you were so close. I had to give to the other area because they answered right after you with the correct spelling. This is actually called Sador Island or Sador Isle. I would have accepted either. So, congratulations, Thalaria. You have one fish point. <laughs> Barge, don't make me laugh. Bra Sorry, Brage, don't make me laugh. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Uh, let me just make this a little bigger, too. Just to help everyone out. Oh, jeez. That's... Uh, that makes sense. All right. Third and final question for uh, Feathermoon. Sorry if you hear beeping. That's Murag doing stuff with the oven, I think. Third question. Who is the military leader of Thalanar? Uh, Thalinar. Sorry. Whoops. I don't remember the answer, so everyone has to lock in. But I don't think that's the name. This is Thalinar. I just noticed Lax Elf is talking in a different language. What language is that? I don't know. I, I mean, there is a chance Ithiliana might be right. <laughs> Designer Dave just comes in here to, to, <laughs> to post that kind of stuff. Oh, okay. I saw, I saw like the cool little circle symbol and I wasn't sure. Um, a lot of people forget that Thalinar exists. It is part of um, Feralis, though. I'll just show it off on the map here. Um, I just, if this helps, that would be the person in charge right here, Thalinar. 
Well, that, exactly. The, the, so that's why I'm asking specifically who is who is military leader of Thalinar. So technically, yes, if you panned out further, there is a higher military hierarchy. I'm talking specifically about Thalinar. This is the hardest question. If you knew the name of this NPC, I might assume you're cheating. It's a trap. Oh, right. I just, I just, <laughs> the map was invisible for anyone. That's okay. I'll show it after. And this is also really hard for a horde player to know, presumably as well. The answer... Anasha Starfall. This is like the uh, the head person over in, in Dalinar. This is the hardest question. That was the hardest question. So it's okay if no one got it. But uh, I think I have what Thalaria with one point and Athiliana with one point. All right. All right. Uh, now we have that done. Uh, why doesn't everyone get on their best uh, swimming gear? And we'll go take a trip around the back of that island. Check out uh, Stunny. Stunny has said that there is a good chance that there is a uh, some kind of a sunken ship down there. Um, if you ask uh, Katarine, oh sorry, not Katarine. I say Katarine because that's a warlock in my guild a lot. Little, little Karen, can I can I get a water breathing? <laughs> I'm gonna group with you. Can I get water breathing? I'm, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to shamelessly ask for it. Uh, get a couple of my swimming trinkets on. Thank you, thank you. All right. I'll uh, invite some people. You don't have to join if you don't want, but uh, convert to raid. There it is. Regarn, I invite you. Uh, Solaria? Get you in. Antilladon. Got you in. Cornhuff, you're in. Brigorn, Solaria. Athiliana, don't got you in yet. Stunny should definitely get you in. Alright. Uh, just let me know if I didn't get you an invite. Uh, that way, uh... That way little Karen can get you a, uh... A water breathing in case you want to go under so so i'm being told that this is this is a a custom a custom addition to uh to this to the client now i mean this thing is like right into the mountainside here uh, yeah that's what uh that's what stunny was saying now for those who don't know the ancient, ancient history of Turtle Wow, there is something known as Turthulu. And I don't know if this was an area it was involved in, but I thought that might have been Zorum Strand, so. Oh, I'm hearing it's for Alice from Murag from the kitchen. Interesting. Oh, red handed. Hey, I see you up there, buddy. Hi. Bassy, I didn't get you in. Oh, you know what? This this looks like a proper picture right here. Let me get this. And a couple snapshots. Which aura does that particle affect? I'm trying to time it so it's not showing up in the picture. <laughs> Wait, which which paladin did that? Oh, thank you. You turned it off. Perfect. Uh, okay, I'll get, I'll get you after this. Oh, that's the, um, right, that's the arcane mage thing. We were talking about that a little bit before. Perfect. Oh, yeah. That's a, it's a, it's a motley group. All right, we got a couple good pictures. Oh, geez, I have a little, little Karen photobombing. All right. Okay. Um, I saw that there were other sunken ships. Maybe we should uh, go swim along the coast a little bit. I'd like to check that out. Is there... No, there's no way up that. Hmm. 
Oh, you know, I should prob- I mean, I want to swim quick, but I also want to be able to kill something if it gets close, but... Huh. Th Th Thalmir, what's what's going on? Can't swim as quick as me? Aren't you- aren't you in, uh, aren't you in Druid form? You don't got what it takes? To swim as quick as the Vrograg? Why do you think fish fear me? It's because I swim so quick. <laughs> you too can get this power if you farm four very specific items. Uh, you probably are. Brigorn, did you get the... You'd only be faster if you have the... Uh, Bloodsail Buccaneer chest. That's the only way you can be quicker. You might have done that, though. Oh, and, uh... Bernardo, what's the name of your tune? I, I want to get them an invite so I can, uh, you can watch where we are. You can just whisper me in game. Any other boats or anything? Cause like, I feel like this is a part of the, part of the area of the world that just isn't explored a lot. Oh, Kayleen. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Is you you were you want you want arcane mage to be good because it's not and you're playing it. Yeah, definitely give a shout out in party or raid chat if you find something interesting. We're we're doing we're doing a full assay today. We're we're doing a full check of this swamp of sorrows. What makes it so sad? Uh, we should definitely check out the turtle, the dead turtle. I mean, you gotta check out the dead turtle. I should maybe get on gear that would not be white transmog gear. I have no idea what spec I'm in, but I'll go with my sword DPS set. There it is. What? Wait, it didn't change my hat. Maybe I did it too quickly? Come on. Wait, you don't know what hat you want? You want tier three. You you stupid game. Outfitter, you've you've betrayed me for the last time. Alright. Bone scythe. I gotta put it on manually. Like a pleb. No, stop that. It is like ignoring my commands. This is wild. Okay. Maybe this is why I had problems. So if I'm right clicking, it should come out of my bank, right? <gasps> Is bone scythe? St oh, yeah. Some of this is just stuck in my bank. So I use a sort add-on, and sometimes it makes some, uh, certain things stuck in my bank. So uh, I guess we're just gonna put on some different different gear today. Put on the dark mantle cap. Uh, for belt, I don't know. What's a fun belt? the Ashkin belt, in case I go with fists. Sorry, everyone. I, I will be there to explore, but, you know, sometimes sometimes you have a wardrobe malfunction like the Super Bowl. Hmm. I'm wearing dark mantle pants. I haven't worn the dark mantle set in a while. It's a, it's a fun looking set. Alright. I don't know where... Wow, this is... Where's all my neck pieces? Alright, I'm not going to worry about it. I should have plenty of gear to fight whatever these things are. Artax died there. Uh, could someone fill me on who Artax is? I feel like I should know who that is. Also, this, um... This sort of... Uh... Get up, right? This, uh... Little litter i guess i want to call it uh on the back of this turtle looks distinctly inspired by like uh east asian architecture i always wondered about this as i think there's a model like this in vanilla now i wonder if they were always planning to make um, turtles some kind of asian inspired culture in the same way they <coughs> uh made a lot of their other races inspired by other cultures Dead Pandaria Turtle. 
Well, Pandaria doesn't exist yet. The horse in the never-ending story? Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There is one in Dark Shore as well. So, if we're looking at the map, right? So, we're over... Where are we? Well, we're here, right? <clears throat> Dark Shore is here. So, theoretically, somewhere between here, if you wrap around, there should be, like, some place where turtles come from. But... I don't, I don't know much about the what they have. Specifically with turtles, I feel like they have special lore on Turtle WoW. I, I could be wrong. It's also very easy to pick up turtle pets here. Like, I have the Olive Snapjaw. I wasn't even trying to get this. I just killed the right turtle that had it. <laughs> fun fact, you can get lots of fun uh, little uh, turtle pets if you kill turtles. All right, uh, we're gonna continue down on the shore. We're gonna swing up from here, and then uh, we'll stop at Misty Reed Point to do another thing of trivia. Cause I don't, I think one of my trivia questions involves Swamp of Sorrows, and I don't wanna, I don't wanna ruin it. <laughs> Cause I think one of my questions is gonna be talking about something we're gonna bump into. Should probably also get my DPS ability on the bar. They're just gonna leave Big Mouth Clans on the ground. I'm gonna grab them. Jokers, I'm gonna get the Golden Pearl. Yes, yes, Brigorn. Another another turtle. Tortool. Interesting. Oh, um, you know, there's like a little bit of a is that a tree in there? Yeah, that's a tree. In the water. What, what would I do with a golden pearl? I would I would give it to my best friend Vrograg and then not look on the auction house ever again about that specific item. Uh, they're actually, they're used for certain enchantments and they're, they can be pretty valuable. Uh, I would not vendor them. I will say that much. All right, so there's another one here. Interesting. Anything inside? Oh, there's a dude inside. Is he gonna fight or is he glitched? No, he's not glitched. <clears throat> Another one. Interesting. You think there's anything out? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna swim out to this and see if there's anything, like around this. Anytime I see an island like this, because this is shown on the map, right? So I wonder what's going on with it. Maybe it's, um, you know how, like, certain creatures go to, like, sp spots they know in the world to go pass away? Maybe that's what these turtles did. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, like I said, my client's been having issues going in and out of water. And it seemed to correct itself there. All right, there's not much here. Can I see anything in the water? No, not really. Now, speaking of um, mistaken identity, little little Karen here, uh, one of my guild's warlocks, Katarine, actually does have a pet turtle and posts pictures of the little guy quite a bit. Thank you, Kandros. Kandros says, Golden Pearl, 13 gold average right now. That's... So if you get a Golden Pearl, I mean... Now, they... Would they come out of those? It's it's any Big Mouth Clam, I think. I don't know if the level that you get the Big Mouth Clam from matters. Is that a... No. Oh, you know what? I'll set the... Uh, here. Loot's on free-for-all. That way no one has to loot stuff. If you're there, just grab it. Oh, are you not in our group? Um, or do we, uh... Who is that? Nefanti? 
Let's get you in front. Corn hoof, really? You pop retaliation for that? <laughs> So the the head cannon here, by the way, these are the I I think these are the ones. Yeah. I think those are the ones that can have them. Uh, my head cannon here, by the way, is that we were fishing and we noticed we weren't catching enough fish. So then we looked around, we noticed there were all these murlocs that had been eating all the fish. So so this isn't um this isn't violent. This is just us trying to uh, we're we're fighting poachers. This, look at this big old croc right here. Oh, do I not have a ranged weapon? Oh, I do, but it's set to gun. <laughs> it's set to gun. What the? Pull out your ranged weapon, thank you. Okay. Oh, what are we checking out over here? We're going around the side? Someone knows something I don't? I'm down. Athiliana says population control. Love to see it. There's a lot of uh, a lot of snappers in here. Not the kind you're fishing for. Oh, there's another. Oh, I didn't know there was a uh, Murloc village over here. Uh, let's see. Sana Silviu says, I know I asked you last week about the add-on. Um, but I was referring about the... This is so annoying. I hate when YouTube does this. And when I was referring about that buffs that appear on your character icon as part of the Leechrix add-on. No, that's, um, so that is actually a part of PFUI. Um, so uh, I'd have to, sh just bear with me a second, guys. I'm gonna see if I can show uh, Sana here how to do this. So under PFUI, you'd have to search for buffs. Uh, unit frames. There's a setting in here. I wish I could remember, but it's um, show duration inside buffs. It might be around here. There's like a, um, uh, maybe this is it? Whitelist, no. Yes, so, the, so this is, how, so player buff bar. So you can do it as a whitelist or a blacklist, but what this does is that when I do an ability, like Slice and Dice, Holy Strength, or Flourish, right? These are ones that are important for Rogue and Rogue tanking. Um, it'll sh it'll give me a bar that shows me how long I have. So let me just do a little test here. So when I hit this guy, right, I'm going to immediately pop Slice and Dice. And you'll see this little bar right here. Enabling that is what gives me this, if that's, if that's what you're talking about. Um, that's a PFUI native thing, but you need to, you need to tell it the ability specifically oh we just came in here and killed everything huh man again with the water look at this every time i get out of the water gotta jump out of the water be careful right there it is nope oh, dang it okay brigorn you see anything good over there or nah Um, let's all, uh, let's meet up over here at Misty Reed Point. Let's just meet up here. Uh, wait. If you're Alliance, maybe... Let's just meet a little south, because I think Misty Reed Point might be a horde spot. So just meet just south of it. We'll, we'll gather back up. What's up? Oh, you're talking Yeah. Okay. Sorry? We were talking about Morales. I thought you were talking about where the bonus of Morales. I'm like... No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Cornhoof, if you're finding that your mount swims downward uh try using uh, holding on the right mouse button and pitch your camera up a little bit and that should help and then you know pitch it up and then let go uh sometimes uh if you have your pitch down a little bit you'll swim down a murloc alarm clock would be pretty cool that's that's certainly a word i don't know if it'd be cool but ooh, steadfast gloves of strength these look cool Whoa, does anyone want these? That's a cool T-Mog. I'll take the gray. They're on this body. It's free for all loot, so. 
All right, let's see. Let's get the diaspora back together here. You guys trying to swim into into the blasted lands? Uh, yeah, I know red-handed. That's exactly. It stinks when it's male armor. And you know, you got to give the armor user something. <laughs> exactly, water enjoyer. Yeah, you can use you can use very old computers for this. All right, uh, let's do another round of trivia here while we're all gathered up. I'm gonna try to do the trivia that is related to Swamp of Sorrows. Let me see here. Uh, we already did this one. We know that one. Okay, we know that one. Is it? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, how do I skip to this? Hmm. If I hide it, would it still be there? No. Uh, you know, we'll do we'll do the rest of the trivia because I don't know how to fix slideshows. <laughs> okay. All right. So, for our next trivia question. <clears throat> This is a scene from Undercity. Can someone name all three NPCs that have exclamation marks over them? The first person to get all three right will win. The person who can get at least two if no one gets all three? That's our next trivia question. All right, Valeria was the first one with two answers spelled vaguely like it. Vazia was the first one with two answers that are correct, correctly spelled. So I'm gonna give it to Vazia if it goes down to three. Um, so it seems like most people know the name of the person on the left and the person on the right. Does anyone know the name of the NPC in the middle? Uh, Vazia says Ghost Lady. A strong contender for the name. <laughs> uh, Mom Nom S. Person says Malganus. If Malganus was there, we would have other problems. <laughs> All right, I get, I'll give everyone a couple more seconds. Uh, the longer I wait, the more likelihood someone tries to look it up. It actually would be a hard one to look up to, if I'm being honest. All right. Uh, so Vazia will be getting the point on this for having both spelled correctly. Um, it's not Balnazar, Asana. All right, here, here are the answers. Lady Sylvanas Windrunner, Vera Mathras, I know it's a hard one to spell. And then that is Charlindra. If you haven't guessed, the themes of these questions will be Undercity. Why? Because I just I just think people just don't pay a lot of attention to Undercity. All right. So I'm sorry I'm sorry to alliance people if this feels a little skewed against you. Next time I do a quiz, I promise I'll do something with the more alliance-centric area. I promise. You 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 did get the Feral, the uh, Thalinar question. So, all right. Next question involving Undercity. Who is the flight master for Undercity? Now, to horde people, it would be a shame if you didn't know, because you know you see this guy a lot when you're on your way to the Plague Lands, when you're on your way further south to Terran Mill, you know you've seen him. You probably know his name. I see Mom Nom S. Person with a misspelled correct answer, I think. Is it? 
Uh, I don't actually... That, is that the right... I, I can't see my answers. I think that is it. That's okay, water. Yeah. Think of how many times you've seen this person. You've never asked... You've never actually paid attention to their name. Imagine. I, I'm actually pulling it up to see if I actually know the... Do I remember it? Uh, so, Mon Nom was close, but not correct. Uh, Mew, uh, my window is the first answer I've seen correct. My window, you also get a fish point. Here is the, uh, oh wait, did I, did I, oh, did it not show? <gasps> it didn't show for some reason. Uh, sorry, the answer is, uh, well, I had, I actually had to look because it wasn't showing for some reason, but the answer is, uh, Michael, Michael Garrett. Oh, wait, no, wait, wait. Who said Michael Garrett first? I thought it was Patrick Garrett. Man, I just gaslit myself. Uh, I'm, I'm going back, I'm going back. Who said Michael Garrett first? Um, Vazia, exactly. Who is Sh <laughs> Charlindra? Who is Charlindra? Um, I'm trying to see who might have gotten Michael Garrett first. Uh, Athiliana got Michael Garrett first. Sorry, I'm sorry. To, I'm sorry to sorry to bait you there, Mon Nom. I actually thought it was Patrick as well, and I am also shamed to have seen this person hundreds of times. And and I, I remember it was like a Garrett, but I couldn't remember the first name. Okay, so that is question two about Undercity. Here is the third question about Undercity. How many zones in Undercity? Now, what I'm specifically asking for here is, um, if you can look at my screen, uh, let me just turn off, uh, I'll turn off ch uh, chat box and the chat background, just to show you guys, not to look at the chat. Right here, you see how I'm in Misty Reed Strand? So every every area has subzones. So there is a clue in that there are nine subzones officially in Undercity. Nine so there's nine zones, nine subzones, however you want to look at it, in Undercity. So think about it for a second and try to list off as many as you can in in one chat if you if if you can they're not they're not all super long or crazy so i'll bring back up chat for myself all right <laughs> yeah we did have some fun last week we did get to the uh the secret balcony level. That was very fun. Shout outs to Brigorn for knowing how to get there. Um, it's okay. I don't have world chat open, so I don't see the moose spam. All right. Lil Karen gets. One, two, three, f all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lil Karen has gotten seven of the zones. See you, Stunny. Thanks for dropping by. Athiliana got one, two, three, four, five, six zones. There are definitely nine. It's gonna blow your mind when you when you when you see it. <laughs> Too many zones. Yeah, kind of. Um, I'm going to. Oh wait! Oh oh, Vasia says wait. Oh, you're you're still writing it? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'll wait for you, Vasia. Okay, I see. I see. Never mind. 
Okay. I'm going to give the fish point to uh, little Karen for getting the most. Let's see what the answers are. Because I actually did look around and find every zone. There's the Apothecarium, the War Quarter, the Rogues Quarter, the Magic Quarter, the Canals, the Trade Quarter, which the Trade Quarter is like the center of Undercity. The Canals are the areas that are between, believe it or not. Um, the Runes of Lordaeron are the upper parts with the Elevator. The sewers and the royal quarter. The royal quarter is where we had that first picture from. I, I'm not. I I did start the question by saying when every subzone, and I even pointed out like in my in my little um, readout thing that like every subzone counts. So if you walk around Undercity, and you go between let's say the trade quarter and the apothecarium. Between them, you will get a subzone announcement called the canals. True story. Also, they're meant to be difficult. Some of these are meant to be difficult. It's okay. All right. Um, because I wanted to get to the Swamp Asaurus question, let's get to the the uh, the. Now, this is all about Swamp Asaurus, where we are right now. So our first one, located in Swamp of Sorrows, this high elf has a noteworthy brother. Who is it? The first correct answer I see will get the fish point. It is not Akalix. <laughs> Good guess, Thalmir. Eben Flame, that is not correct, Thiliana. Oh wait, hold on. The first the first correct answer, I saw it. My uh my window guessed correct. Just barely before JF, by the way. Just barely before. That was in um uh stream chat. My window, you get a fish point. Uh let's see the answer. It was Aranicus. So um if you know about doing the sump well, sunken temple quest chain. Now, this guy actually gives you the uh, chained essence of Aranicus, and that's because uh, Atherius is his brother. <laughs> um, it's a it's a high elf. I think the model's high elf, and it was even in vanilla too. But that's just the form that he takes. He is actually a green dragon in truth, and everything out outside of there is like little green dragon welblings too. All right, next. Swamp of Sorrows question. By the way, if you're just in stream chat, uh, try hitting refresh or F5 just to make sure you have as much, you're as up to date as everyone else. So you get the questions as soon as possible. All right. Next question. What area of Swamp of Sorrows is this mysterious troll ruin door located in? So I'm looking for the, the name of the subzone that this is in. Uh, this is also why I wanted to do the quiz before we kept exploring, because I didn't want to bump into it and be like, hey guys, where were we? Yeah, this is actually in Swamp of Sorrows. We are going to go there. Uh, hold on. First correct answer was Thalaria. Just barely beating out Nefanti. Um, wait, none of you have spelled it right, but... But uh, I'm going to give it to Thalaria. <laughs> we'll go. We'll, it's a Staglebog. Oh, you said Staggleborg. Oh, you know what, Thalaria? I'm going to give the point to uh, Nefanti, who spelled it right. And they were just after you, time wise. Nefanti, you get a fish point. <laughs> the points that matter, that, that, they don't mean anything. You can um, remind me you have a fish point to cash in a favor if you ever need something. Hello, Frosty. I don't know Cyrillic, sadly. Okay, last question. There's a lot of ties. I think a lot of people have one, so this might break some ties. <clears throat> the last question for Swamp of Sorrows. 
This level 62 dragon can be found patrolling east of the sunken temple. What is its sleep related name? Murag says she knows this. But she's really smart, so. Who knows the name? Incorrect, Lokaren. Uh. Monom, that is not spelled correctly. Well, I, I'm only doing it if it's close. Like, if, like, a bunch of people give answers really close. I'm, I am going to give this to Momnom for answering about 10 seconds quicker than the next closest person. The spelling was a little off. It's it just som, uh, Somnus. I don't think there's an I in there, but... And a uh, fun fact, the word Somnus is uh, a uh, Roman god for sleep. And that's why it has a sleep-related name. Exactly. It pretty much, I'm only gonna do the spelling thing if, like, two answers are very, very close time-wise. So, uh, yes, Monnam, you do get a fish point. And, uh, that's, that's part of the, uh, I, again, I'm showing my horde bias here, because that's part of the, uh, Test of Skulls, which is the Onyxia, uh, attunement for Horde. Alright. So, there were some people that did not believe me, and I, I don't blame you, about that, uh, that entrance. So, why don't we mount up, and I'll walk you right over to where that troll door is. And yes, Som, S-O-M-N, is, is indeed used in other words that, uh, in English, there's, um, Som Ambulance, which is the word for sleepwalking. So that, that prefix S-O-M-N is used, uh, in English as well. Not nearly as often in, in other languages where I think it's, like, just means sleep. The yep. <laughs> that, yep, Lil Karen, exactly. Insomnia, right? That's a much more commonly used English word. S O M N in there is about sleep. I, I li I'd like to be able to flex my BA in English every now and then. Yeah, it's right here. That picture of that troll ruin with the door. By the way, when I was looking around for fun things to take pictures of for the quiz, I saw this, and I seriously questioned whether I had seen this before. Is this new? Has this always been here? Or just did I miss it? This is this is the fun thing about Turtle Wow, because Turtle Wow like encourages you to explore, and there's stuff you just don't know if you've seen. I know there's quests here. There's a there's a cave just around the corner. But I mean look at this. And I think if you, you can cut, I don't know if you can, hmm. if you get your camera just right, you can almost see through it. I don't know if, but it does look like there, there could be something behind it, but I can't quite tell. I know it's closed. Well, Karen, you didn't pickpocket me. <laughs> I, I had no idea this was here. It doesn't look like there's like any way to this. I mean, it could just be window dressing. Who knows? I don't think I can get on top here easily. Yeah. Wait, a th Athiliana, you got in? No way. Come to the right side. My right or your right? Over here or the other side? All right, now get out. You're, you, oh, well, oh, it is hollow on the inside. Look at that. 
Is this going to be like last week where I'm just a big stupid orc and I can't get through anything? That's okay. Interesting. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I can uh, cheese my way in there. Sadly. So it looks like it's... It might just be for funsies. Um... All right, everyone, let's let, let's let's get out. There's a there's a cave adjacent to here. We can check it out. I don't think there's going to be the, anything related. Now this is Stal uh, Stalabog Cave, and then this area is just called Stalabog. So I don't know if the cave somehow related, but is anyone stuck? All right. No, oh, there it is. No, oh, that's a bummer, red-handed. <laughs> Does anyone feel like they wish Seaforium could do more than just one door in Dire Mall? Am I the only one who feels like that? I, I Don't get me wrong, engineering does plenty, but it's kind of a bummer, you know? Uh, speaking of really bad ideas I've uh, put forward on Class Council stuff, I have gone into the warrior channel and I've told them, hey guys, do you guys think you should be able to break open treasure chests and lock boxes with your with your strength? They they didn't laugh me out. I think I got a couple thumbs up, but <laughs> I think it's a cool idea. I say that because I wish more classes could do lock boxes. It is pretty annoying as a rogue to just get showered in lock boxes. You, you can make money, it's good, but... Um, mages can do lockboxes to a certain extent, but it's not profitable for them because they have to use expensive reagents. It just, like, caps out and it, yeah, it also caps out lower, that's true. Warriors should be able to self-heal better than priests can heal them, to be honest. I mean, warriors have a lot going for them. I, I think they need a couple of Achilles heals. Being able to not heal themselves is probably one of them that should remain, but I don't know enough about PvP to make that distinction. You know, if you want to heal yourself, just be a troll warrior. They have that sweet regeneration passive, right? <laughs> is this just a boilerplate... I think it's just a boilerplate uh, cave, isn't it? I hope you guys are also enjoying the um, occasional thing I get where my model also disappears. Vasia, don't be so mean to trolls. Morag likes playing a troll, and you don't want to incur her wrath. You guys think I'm good at stealth? Look at this. My model's not even showing up. How's, how good is that? I don't know what... There. Sometimes I have to bring out my bag to make it reappear. I don't know. Anything good in here? There's some gold. Uh, Yes. Yeah, uh, still drill. That's actually what I was thinking. Was that like... They should have a chance to break whatever's inside. As a consequence for smashing it open. But yeah. Bloodthirst exists, vampirism, HP five. Yeah, it's true. I think I think leveling up it it is a pain, but it also encourages them to get first aid done. So there's that. Yeah, I think I think this is just a boilerplate one. Okay, there's like five caves and all of wow and this is one of them you know uh the most dangerous cave in the game i am still scared of to this day if anyone has tried doing the trolls and hygel not only do they slap they have strong abilities they're like really hard to kill you should not go in there by yourself Yes, the yes, the Lamir, uh, the Thalamir says it's one of the caves of all time. 
exactly my thoughts. Alright, everyone jump down. Be careful. Don't sprain your ankle. Uh, yeah, Thiliana, that was my experience, too. I went there with Murog and Filthstar, and we were just barely able to kill things. We had to, like, use every bit of CC. And there's, and, like, by the way, these are, like, three well-geared players. Uh, and we, we still really struggled. I had to go with, uh, with my tank build. Also because it has, a. uh... Well, back it used to have two of two improved sap, which is important. Uh, there's plenty to explore in uh, Swamp of Sorrows. Uh, we could check out the Fallow Sanctuary. I think there's also like the Harborage here too. Does anyone have any good spots to check out in Swamp of Sorrows? bad at doing this too. Did anyone? I never check my Discord when I'm streaming. By the way, that, that's a that's a great shot, Brigorn. <laughs> There's a unique bridge. I mean, I'm down. I don't know why I can't mount here. Why can't I mount here? Am I in water still? Hello? There it is. You guys saw that too, right? I was trying to mount. <laughs> It wouldn't let me. Oh, you know, uh, I am curious. This is this is pure curiosity, by the way. Do you catch the same fish in the ponds around the temple? Oh, Brigorn, I know what you're talking about. The uh, unique bridge that leads up to the Alliance area. It is a very unique bridge. Oh, there's another unique bridge. Okay. Little Karen on her snowball mount. <laughs> I, I got to I got to try a couple casts here. I just wonder if they have different fishing tables. Careful, there's green wormkin. All right. Just a couple casts, I promise. <laughs> oh, man, I left my... Uh... Where's my fishing? My, it's called the bark skin fisher. There it is. Because this this could be considered an inland water source. I think that's how they split them up. There's inland and then there's ocean. Although Hygel just kind of does whatever it wants. Uh, Lizzie Babs, the Barkskin Fisher, also known as the highest fishing rod known, is from a rare elite in Hygel. And you better believe I was all over that guy. Even though I was on the PTR, I didn't know where he was, but I knew that it was called the Barkskin Fisher, so I checked everything around the barkskin uh, fur bulks to find where he was. Um, he's inside a cave. Um, it does look like different fish, though. Trout, catfish. If I see bristle whisker, that means it's like mid to low level, I think. Um... For me personally, no, it wasn't uh, Elizabeth's, and that's for server jank reasons. When I went to go get it, um, Homie was respawning every five minutes, so it wasn't hard for me. 
Uh, now I think he properly has a normal rare spawn timer. So it's probably hard now. I, I'm, I'm sorry to say. All right, thank you for satisfying my curiosity. I had to know if they if they had different fishing tables. Thank you. Oh, chase for my offhand. Why oh, I felt striker? I forgot I have this. Just humble brag. Um, yeah. If anyone is curious about getting the bark skin fisher, though, uh, I'll just point it out on the map where it is. No, not here, Hygel. Um, the cave right here, bark skin village. You want to work your way in and then stay to the right. There's an area with a bunch of water and steam vents. And the um, rare spawn should be over there. Well, I, I mean, it is still... It is low level in that it's not what we were fishing before Vasia. But yes, there are level 40 elites all around us. <laughs> I mean, I feel a lot more bold with all these... St strong companions by my side. Also, we should probably... Um, oh, you guys probably... Most of you want to give Stoner to wide berth, eh? <laughs> well, we'll give Stoner the old wide berth. They're pretty aggressive over in Stoner. We okay back there? Yeah. Yeah, do not run straight to Stonard. Do they? They must have a graveyard here for Alliance, right? Or do you guys have to like all the way out to uh, Duskwood? Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thalmir lost his Oni buff on way to Sunken Temple more than once from those guards. Yeah. If you're if you're Horde, you will see. I mean, every so often, you'll just see. Splinter Spear Junction is under attack because of Alliance people running through and not realizing the roads heavily patrolled by Horde. Look, Karen, you think you have one what? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, Blasted Land's right around the corner. Oh, wait, little Karen, did you just did you just fund that up for science? You did. Dang. That's crazy. Everyone defend Vazia. I think Vazia is lower level. Nope. Just a mage looking for trouble. Some things never change. Yeah, uh, I think our, our leader here uh, looks like Brigorn and Tilladon are in the lead. They're, they have a they have a good line for us that'll help us skirt Stonard. Also, if you're an herbalist, this is a great spot to grab uh, Fade Leaf and, and Blindweed. Uh, oh, is this... Is that the Blacktooth Grin base? I thought it got taken down. Um, Alliance people, stay on your course. I'm going to go check this out for, for the Horde. Um, yeah, this is the... So, this is the guild base for Blacktooth Grin. Yeah, it's still here. This is where the um, notorious villains known as the Blacktooth Grin used to call home. <laughs> it looks a lot like Stonard, but it just isn't Stonard. <laughs> and they have these nice little uh, these nice little banners right here. I will. Uh, Where's the rest of the group? Okay, good. Yeah, 
You see you, Tiliana. All right. Uh, I wasn't sure if there were NPCs in the Black Tooth Grin base. That's why I want us to be careful. Some guild bases have NPCs that are flaggable. Um, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm interested in checking out the Harborage, I think. I'm also interested in one time not having my game do this. Come on. There it is. Got uh, Rigorn with Triangle. See, he keeps doing it. At this point, it's kind of a fun thing. Uh, make sure to follow Triangle. Triangle is our leader. That there fisherman has a rare fishing pole trap. Is that true? Anything, uh, no, nothing from him. So these are, um, these creature here are, I think they're called like the broken, right? I don't, I don't remember my lore that well, but this is all the game lore has so far for Draenei. Drain, I don't exist. And they can't hurt you. There won't be any space goats in the game. So, so they, so are they, are they right now in lore like the only Draenei, and they're not like the broken or whatever? I can't remember how all that lore went down. I had, uh, I was talking to Dan. Dan knows the lore. Well, uh, technically, Teladon orcs are aliens. Right? Because they're from another planet. But yes, th those are the Warcraft 3 Draenei. Okay. <laughs> Red Handed, I appreciate your comments. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, I think they took a hard right turn with the lore <laughs> with uh, with Draenei. I'm not particularly invested, but I do like more of the lower fantasy stuff. The second you start getting like spaceships and stuff going on i feel like you change sort of the nature of the fantasy so i think that's more where i'm at i think uh some of the lore they built around draenei in tbc was interesting but uh never never really never really ticked my talk so to say So the harbor is over here. We can look at more of the uh, the current state of Draenei. I'm getting a lot of whispers about the deep lore on Draenei. This is the harbor, right? Yeah. Um, I don't remember this from Classic, but I feel like it might have existed, but I think there might have been stuff added here. I don't think this is the weird bridge. So, okay, so it isn't just me. This is new? Okay. Yes. Yeah, I knew about the Draenei village to the east, and I knew that one was, um, was in Classic. Now, these little huts, they're set up kind of like the, um, 
villages for the Draenei. You might see in Zangar Marsh if you remember TBC, but um, they look different. I, I feel like they look different. Also, I don't know what this is all about, but these Draenei all have blue glowy eyes. I don't know what the lore behind that is. There must be a reason. Well, yeah, they're all all exiles. Um, there's like a couple quests here you can do. I think Murag and I did this when we were doing hardcore. We did the quest here. It was a good questing hub. Uh, do they have anything interesting for sale? Green dragon scale breastplate. Mm, I don't know if a bomb swan knows that one. Doesn't look that good, gonna be honest. Hold on, I'll buy it before this guy does. You never know how shifty Brigorn might be. <laughs> Dragon scale leatherworking, one of the more underwhelming crafting specializations. <laughs> you cannot believe how sassy I got at the team. Shall I see that I I was <laughs> I was given it to Dragon Ovi when with uh, the release of Emerald Sanctum. They had new blacksmithing recipes, new leather leatherworking recipes, and new tailoring recipes, but there was nothing male, and there was nothing for dragon scale leatherworking. I'm like, we're fighting dragons. Shouldn't there be a dragon scale leatherworking recipe in here? Which one has... We should maybe go check out Atherius' cave. Maybe we can finally get a uh, little Karen to actually read the quest text. <laughs> oh, Brigorn says the bridge is close. I want to see this bridge he's talking about. Brigorn can't lie. He's a paladin. It's actually illegal for paladins to lie, so. Also, what did you guys uh would you guys think of the uh the trivia? Did you like that? Do you think I could like do something more with that? I don't know. I I, I liked I like doing trivia, but I'm so afraid of getting something wrong. Oh. Huh. There aren't any other bridges like this? Huh. I... I... Mm, I think you're right. There's a covered bridge in Brill. But it's not like this. So this, again, with these, um... What's that? Uh, octagonal or hexagonal windows? This very much looks, um inspired by Asian architecture. Right. Another Pandaria thing. Well, I mean, I think some people from the team know how to import stuff, so... Uh, careful, this is where a lot of uh, horde guards like to patrol, so just watch yourself, uh, alliance folk. I have spent a lot of time in this corner of the in this corner of the map. Not a lot of time, but I anytime I'm coming through here, I'll kill the dragon whelps that can drop the green dragon pet. Because I've always wanted the green dragon pet, but I can never get it. Um, it drops off of the dreaming whelps. Not the adolescent whelps, the dreaming whelps. Um, I've saw, I've seen some people farm them too. Uh, it's uh not very likely to drop. If I recall, it's pretty pretty tough to get. Let me see if I can uh, bring it up here. So that was a dreaming well. Yep. Yeah. All right, let's bring this over here. Let's bear with me. Uh, who can I put on follow? Uh, Dalmir, I'm gonna put you on follow here for a second. Wait, why can't I follow you? Kill cube? No. Teladon? All right, there it is. Uh, dreaming whelp. 
there. And they have the... Oh, wait, where's the... Show me the... Ah, oh, there it is, okay. And don't, don't do a pick and roll on me here. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get that. Now let's see how good I am at Streamlabs. Uh, we're gonna go with this. Done. There it is. Okay. So, um, so this is the Dreaming Whelp, right? And they have, they drop this right here, the Emerald Whelp, Whelpling, and it has a 0.8% chance to drop. I have come here just, just to farm it before. I have never gotten it. And here we are at Etherius' cave. I think I have done this guy's quest. Um, do you know someone or something rather by the name of Aranicus? Um, essentially, when you go through this quest log or this dialogue, um, it actually careful. it circles, so you have to be careful. But uh, you find out that Aranicus was uh, corrupted, I think, by Hakar. Or her car was involved in it, because that's what the Sunken Temple's all about. And uh, the Green Dragon Flight was made to protect the temple. And that's why a lot of this area isn't is messed up. Do I actually I might actually still have it. Hold on. I think I might oh, the chain No, I, I don't have it anymore. I think a bomb swim might have the chained essence of Aranicus. But Alright. Oh, jeez. Little Karen. Oh. Has this fire always been here? I feel like that's like half of what I do in this game. Has this always been here? Absolutely haunting people. Little Karen. <laughs> Alright, gang. I think we had a pretty productive day. We, uh... We gave... Trivia a try. We, get, we did some fishing. We checked out a little bit in Swamp of Sorrows. <laughs> Prop Hunt WoW edition for Frograg. I mean, yeah, if I can set it up. I think, uh, so... Expect, uh... I'm probably gonna be another short news, but... Um, so far, what it looks like, things I'm gonna be talking about are... Uh, I'm gonna see if I can maybe get some new stuff out of the class council, or maybe some updated news about class class council. Definitely do a change log. Nothing too crazy on the market watch so far, but I'll keep an eye on it. Th Thalmir, did you you have to you have to like whisper me to get an invite? Hold on, let's get let's 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 rectify. Where's Thalmir? That's why I couldn't follow you. Also, to be fair, I mean, I want I don't want you to take this the wrong way. I might have mixed you up for a hunter pet. <laughs> we have hunters around us, so you just look like a hunter pet. You know, if I cuz I don't have like all my nameplates on all the time, right? I listen, as someone who has um actually been a hunter pet, by the way, hunters and rogues make great leveling companions. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it must be tough being a druid. But yeah, uh, also uh, thank you once again to um, uh, who was it? Yeah, it was a. Uh, it was Thalaria that, that donated. Thank you for um, testing that too. I appreciate that. Appreciate the donation. 
Portal of Stormwind uh, for any Horde people that want to go die. I, I mean, well, you know what? I mean, I mean, I mean, why not? The portal's right there, right? You got, you guys wouldn't narc on me, right? You guys won't narc on me, right? Don't, don't you dare. Don't narc on me. <laughs> so, so, okay. Nefanti, what you need to know is the second you run through that portal, you, you can start getting attacked. Guards do go up there. You don't even have, oh geez, you're level 45. Oh dude. Oh dude. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be tough. Um... Do you know the wave tech? What does that mean? Is there a technique I should know? Spam w Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I learned about that from uh, Barney Beekeeper's videos. By the way, um, looks like she's going to have a video out soon. Yeah, there's also... There's um, thief catchers who will look, who see through stealth all the time. It's really tough. I mean... <laughs> I, I can't wait for it either. I, I don't think any of these guys will, like, straight up attack me. She is boggers. Can I pickpocket this guy? Will he get mad? <laughs> oh, come on. Man. I'm not, I'm not hurting anyone. Thank you. Oh, wait, careful, careful. That is cross-faction PvP. And I'm sorry, I can't I can't stand for it. But who's who's that? Oh. It's okay. I can I can defuse the situation. I have defused the situation. Um I'm pretty sure more people are going to show up here. Oh, he just, he just, he just gave you the dot and ran. <laughs> no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bonk little Karen. Little Karen also isn't flagged. Who's, who's fighting over here? No, be nice, be nice. No, well. Oh, jeez. Okay. I'm let. I'm trying to let him run. Oh man, I gotta die. <laughs> oh well. Uh, you know what? Don't don't teabag me, little carrot. How could you? It was a it was a honor fighting with you, a little Basco. Uh, I don't know how Thalmir died, but anyway, uh, this is a good spot to leave it for now. <laughs> uh, I don't know how how far away the the point. How far away is it? It must be pretty far, right? Uh, I, I'll check. I'll check. Yeah. Oh, jeez. You didn't tell me it was like this. Oh, man. All right. Well, <clears throat> thank you everyone for uh, for coming by stream. Uh, we had a, we had a good time. We got a lot done. Uh, but yeah. Should be a new episode on uh, Tuesday. If I have any other streaming things I'll, I'll try to give people notice uh, I might try to do another one of those uh, dungeon gold farm experiments those were fun I had a, I had a lot of fun doing those uh, but yeah thanks everyone for dropping by we'll uh, should uh, next Saturday am I good Mirag I think I am I think so. yeah okay we should be doing this same time next week at the very least Appreciate all of you coming by, fishing, asking questions, being willing to uh, explore. Remember to uh, be good to each other. 
try to remember while playing the game to have fun. And as always, the deadliest weapon is knowledge. <laughs>